I'm Mike Bishop, I'm a medicinal chemist, and I'm here today because I'm working with Nanome on drug discovery applications. And today we're gonna to go into the literature and pull out a paper on protein kinase inhibitors. What we'll do is we'll look at some of the changes the authors made to the inhibitors that really improve the properties, both the binding properties as well as the solubility, and uh, they block some metabolism too, so we'll look at that. Awesome, let's hop into VR. And so today we're gonna to look at a kinase called TNNI3K. This is a serine threonine kinase. So this paper we have here is from some scientists at GSK published a few years ago where they found a new class of ligands that block this uh, kinase. And so we're just gonna take a look at the structure and, and look at the ligands uh, in the active site and uh, see what these scientists were thinking. So a kinase basically has, has uh, two lobes, two domains, and in between is a hinge region, and that's in this cleft is where ATP usually binds. And so what we see here is the actual inhibitor, the HIT molecule that was found from a screen by the scientist at GSK. And we can come right here in virtual reality into the active site and look at some of the key interactions that this ligand picks up with the, with the kinase. The NH of this nitrogen makes a really nice hydrogen bond with this backbone carbonyl of the isoleucine over here. And then we can see next to it, here at the N3 position, a really nice hydrogen bond between that nitrogen and the NH of that backbone isoleucine there. Um, so two you know, really good hydrogen bonds that are important for the activity of this inhibitor. But this inhibitor is also nice in that it has this N-methyl sulfonamide group that sticks way into the back pocket and we can pull that over here closer to us and, and this sulfonamide picks up three really important hydrogen bonds. I think what we can see here is this, this is called the gatekeeper residue right here, this threonine, and there's a nice hydrogen bond between that threonine and uh, the NH here of the sulfonamide. And then both of the oxygens of the sulfonamide pick up nice hydrogen bonds, one with the backbone NH here, and then the other with uh, a water molecule that then has hydrogen bond, two hydrogen bond interactions with the protein. And one thing, if I go into to, uh, MedChem mode where I can draw and make changes, uh, we, can, we can look at a change that they made that was quite successful, and that was this nitrogen of the purine uh, making a molecule where that was a carbon instead. And what you can see here is now we have a desipurine, and we still have all the interactions we had before, but when they made this change, they saw a really nice increase in potency. And one thing that they did was put halogens off of that same carbon we just looked at. So here we've put a bromine on there. But there was another place where they could, they could do a good job of, of improving properties. And you see, right where you are, Steve, you are in a really large pocket. It's really, it really faces out towards solvent. So this is an area where they realized they could put groups off this carbon that's right in front of us here and, and possibly um, improve properties or pick up potency. They also found that they could make this a fairly large group. And I'm gonna turn this into a morpholine. So it looks like a cyclohexane now, but if I put a nitrogen there and an oxygen over here, this is a morpholine. And but so this morpholine was great because it likely blocked a site of metabolism. Um, having this oxygen out here, another polar atom, uh, likely improved solubility for them. So this is quite a soluble molecule now. So this is a type of tool molecule that they could optimize using structure-based drug design, using the protein. And, and in Nanome, where we are now, you can get a really good feel for interactions in virtual reality as well as pockets that can be filled or clashes that you'll have if you put too large a group in a position. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Hope that you enjoyed those molecules and virtual reality as much as we did. Uh, it was just super awesome getting into the binding pocket, seeing those different hydrogen bonds in the molecule. I mean, as a drug discovery scientist, to be able to get into the pocket and really see those interactions in virtual reality, it, it's really an incredible experience.